Welcome back guys. This is Zach Greenfield, Quick and Dirty Marketing. Today we're gonna continue, we're actually gonna dive into the sort of nitty gritty on basic, what I consider block and tackle minimum SEO for your website. And we're gonna start with the first tool you need to have in your toolbox to even get in the game of trying to figure out what's going on with your site and how to improve it. So stick with me. We're gonna dive into the desktop and I'll walk you through the first couple of steps of getting set up. All right, so here we are on the desktop and I'm gonna walk you guys through how to add your property to Google Search Console. Now this is one of the first tools for SEO that you really need to get going for your website. And here are the simple reasons why. One, this is gonna be how you can get your site crawled and make those requests. You're going to be able to submit your site map, your XML file to Google so that it understands all the pages and every and how your site is connected. And you're gonna get tips and kind of their, you know, their analysis. Once this system grabs hold of your website, so to speak, it starts analyzing it and giving you some really good insight on how to improve mobile performance and some other things that are definitely ranking factors. So the tool is free and it's a best place to start uh, for getting just the you know basic dashboard going for your website. So you're just gonna go to search.google.com, click start now, you're gonna to need to log in with your Google identity here and you can see up in the right hand corner, this is my, my identity on this one. This account we have some stuff on so there's some activity going on here. But what you're gonna do is get up in here and add a property. Now, the next step is you know to put in your domain, okay? And um, we're gonna do mine on this account right here. So you're just gonna hit continue. All right, and this is for any DNS provider. So DNS stands for domain name servers. That's where your uh, domain, the instructions for where to point people that make a request of your domain, you know, basically is the connection map between your website and the public looking at your domain. There's a lot of other settings in there, but it effectively determines how your site is served, depending on how all those things are hooked up. You don't need to be freaked out about it though, because it's actually pretty simple to manage. And all we're gonna do here is follow the instructions, right? We're gonna sign in to our DNS provider, okay? And if you don't know who that is, you know, call, talk to your host or the person that's hosting your website and they generally can tell you where your DNS is located. For those of you that use you know, GoDaddy or one of the bigger providers, you're typically hosting your DNS alongside your website hosting. So you can just log in, go to manage your DNS and you're gonna copy this little text record right here, which is this little piece of code, okay? And you're gonna put this into your DNS as a text record. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so I bounced over to where I have this domain that we're working on right now. And these are all things that are in the domain name server records right here. And this one is actually running in Google domains. A lot of our stuff is in GoDaddy, but I have some of my, my things set up here. This, my domain is, is hanging out in Google's domains, which there's nothing wrong with doing that. You can buy domains from Google as well, and they do have DNS hosting. So you're just gonna scroll down and find where you can do a record. And we're gonna add in this new record. So we're gonna click here. Remember it said we needed to do a text record, which is TXT right there, okay? And we're gonna put in the code that we copied, okay? And that's it. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna save it. All right. Now you can see we have this text record right here, TXT record with this Google site verification code. Now we're gonna 
gonna go back over here. Okay, now that we have the text record going in Google servers, we're gonna hit verify. And we'll see if it works. Sometimes there's a little bit of a time lag, but boom, and it says ownership verified. So now we're gonna to go to that property inside our dashboard. And they give us little announcements. And this is where it starts with this, right? So your site has been switched to mobile first indexing. So that's super cool. That means my mobile pages are working well. Okay, and then this takes a couple of days to come back in here and they're gonna start giving you performance and coverage reporting, right? But here's where on the left you can do sitemap stuff, right? So I can go into my website, get my sitemap, and enter that URL for Google to have that here, um, which is not going to be a problem. This one looks like this was some old stuff from 2016 we had back in here, so that we're just going to ignore that. This new one right here looks like it already grabbed, well, no, this one was grabbed from April 23rd, 2019. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that in there and I'll show you how that works. So we're just gonna go up, in the case of my website, it is just slash sitemap. So we're just gonna copy that. And here, let me show you what that looks like. And this is something that you guys, if you don't know where that is or how that's coded, I mean, this is pretty typical for most sites, um, but you can definitely um, call your web hosting company or ask them or support or just Google, you know, if you're on like one of these web platforms like Wix or I don't know, Shopify or anything like that. Um, or if you have a, a person who's developed your site for them, you should ask for your sitemap URL and it should be something like this, you know, and then you're going to want to enter that here. And that's like the first step with this whole thing is you really just want to get the sitemap submitted to Google, okay? And then you get a little message there that it's been su su submitted successfully and they're going to keep track of it then, okay? So we'll see what happens with this. We'll just keep an eye on that. And that's the first step for today. I, I don't want to overwhelm you, but that's really where you need to start with is, you know, these three sort of things is go to Google Search Console, get logged in with your Google identity, get your site linked as a new property, and then submit your sitemap and figure out your sitemap piece. That's it. That's it. And then you can, we'll get into all these other cool things here, performance, URL inspections, and all you know, looking at some of the stuff here, uh, mobile performance, it's all in here and it's all free to manage. All right, so that was our, you know, sort of minimum first step into SEO is getting connected to Google Search Console. It's so important to get your site connected so you can get that site map sent into them and make sure that they got your site connected for indexing, right? And you can request calling and all sorts of other cool stuff in there. But today we just wanted to get you set up on that. So the first thing to do was get onto Google Search Console, get the site added as a new property, verify it using a text record or some domain header code. You could work with your web person with that or your DNS host provider to help you get that text record entered. Anybody that hosts or does your DNS is totally happy to help with that. So you're not gonna get hit with any cost to do this type of stuff. And then once that's connected and the site is on the dashboard, then you can submit that site map. And again, you just need to figure out what the extension is for that for your website. All easy stuff. If you have trouble with your platform, just Google in there. Somebody else has specifically answered the question, I'm sure, that you're asking about the platform where your website is running. But this is the general guideline and the steps to get you further along in understanding the SEO and mobile performance on your site. If this helped you in any way, I'd love to have a like on the video and we'll see you on the next one because we're gonna continue on with these minimum tasks you really need to do to set things up and give yourself an advantage in ranking your website.